Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the weapons of H3VR. So you might think we have already taken a look at this. This is the Thompson submachine gun. We've looked at this, right? Right? No. No, 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 no. We haven't. Because this is actually the Thompson carbine. So uh, it this is chambered in uh, dirty carbine, this little uh, cartridge, which you can find in the M1 and M2 carbine. And this was actually submitted to the same trials as the M1 carbine. This was part of the of the 1941 I believe light rifle or light rifle trials I believe they were called and uh, well the guys who made the Thompson submitted this thing hoping a well proven Thompson submachine gun design surely they'll take the same thing in 30 uh, 30 uh, what's it called 30 uh, carbine no, they didn't. For a, a variety of reasons. So, uh, it was uh, too heavy. This was like... I believe they were looking for a carbine that was like 6-7 pounds. Maybe 8. This was like 12. So it was too heavy. It's an open bolt uh, submachine gun. Open bolt gun. Not really a drawback. And they were, however, also looking for something select fire. Well, good news. This is select fire, so it has that it hits that uh, requirement, which the M1 carbine did not. Of course, the later M2 carbine would. But due to the weight, and also it was too expensive to manufacture. Also, why the original Thompson got replaced by the uh, grease gun. It did not get selected, and we of course got the M1 carbine. So uh, th this is just a Thompson in 30 carbine, basically. It has uh, similar sights. That's a massive peep sight though, and that's a bit smaller one. It has a 20 round magazine chambered in, as I said, 30 carbine. And that's really it. It's a more powerful Thompson with fewer rounds. Yeah, 20 rounds, not bad. Of course, what this also means, it also locks open on empty, which is cool. What this also means is it is less controllable than a regular Thompson since 30, uh, 30 carbine is a more powerful cartridge. So yeah, it did not get accepted. Instead, we had the M1 carbine and uh, yeah. This one went nowhere, but still, it's a cool thing. It's uh, big, heavy, kind of cool. I hope you all enjoyed watching this uh, quick little video on uh, the Thompson Carbine. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame since it is cool. But well, M1 is better, so M1 Carbine. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed watching. Be sure to vote for uh, the guns you want to see in the gun poll in the description below. I hope you all enjoyed watching, leave a like, subscribe and all of that, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!